Hi, my name is Christina and I am your librarian here at Christina's Bookshelf. And today I am bringing you Songs of the Sea by Dean Freck, published by JMS Books. This is a wonderful tale of mer people, and our main characters are mermen. I take that back. I want to say our main character. This is really a story of Sartan and his tale of finding a mate and all the battles that the fates put for them to be together in the end. It is a happily ever after story, but to get there, there's so many trials and tribulations, anything and everything that can be thrown at them really is kind of like a story of Murphy's Law for this poor fellow. So here we go. The Mer people travel in pods and this one time a year they all congregate and they have this winter meeting. And during this winter meeting, it's a huge like festival event. This is when mates are found, people come together, they mourn the Mer people that they've lost, they celebrate the people who have come. It's just a wonderful celebration of sorts. Sarsen is happy to be going, but at the same time, he's kind of bummed because he has gone through this and he hasn't found his mate yet. He's of age, he's been of age, but yet he hasn't heard the song of the mate. So we go to the winter meeting and Sarsen is one of the band members. And from how Dean explains this, the music is heavenly. I just want to hear them play. I can just, uh A part of me had like the Little Mermaid going on in my head, but a part of it just, was beyond beautiful. And when he's playing, this gentleman comes up and is welcomed because it's his turn. He's of age now to be celebrated and to find a mate and starts and hears the song. Somar is his mate and he is elated. He has finally found it. Sartan's mother and many people of the pod know that he is destined for something great. Back through all the stories of how the Mer people came to be and how they've lived and everything, shows the destiny of Sartan. And then for his mate to be Somar, it brings it all together in this nice package and this beautiful bow. And you're just, oh yes, you're so happy. The stories that you've heard so far with Sartan is that in his pod, he's kind of bullied a little bit. And since he doesn't have a mate, he's not held to the same standards as a lot of the males are that do or did. But now he can flourish until one of the worst storms happens upon this winter cove. And he is separated from not only his mate, but all the mer people. When he wakes up from being unconscious, he's stranded, no songs playing, his tail is hurt. He's now relying on this gentleman named Maru, who's part of the land people. Of course, the land people have their tales about the sea people, and the sea people have tales about the land people that go back forever. And so Maru is a little cautious about Sartin and Sartin's a little cautious about Maru as you know, you should be stranger danger. Although this man has kind of saved your life. And as days pass and Sartin still cannot hear the songs of his people, the songs of Somar, he figures he's the only one that has survived this storm. And he allows himself to grieve and he allows himself to move on and develop a relationship with Maru. And then with Maru's people who look at him and think that he's something great and wonderful and powerful until they feel betrayed. And who comes to rescue him? Well, now he's back in the sea and he gets taken again. But this time it's not by just any land people, it's by explorers, scientists, people that want to keep him, hold him, show him off to the world. How is he going to get out of this one? As I said, this is a story really about Sartan and the journey that he has to go to to show himself, his mate, the gods, the fates. He is worthy of being the great merman he is set to become. He can go back to the pods. He can go back to his pod with this story, this journey, and be this wonderful, brave man. Because to survive, he had to do some things that some leaders looked down upon. They said that only the cowardly do this action. Is he cowardly now or is he brave and majestic? I have never read a uh, mer people story before besides, you know, like The Little Mermaid, but that was like the Disney version. I haven't read, you know, like the darker like versions or anything. So I was really enthralled to read this. Part of it played out though like a children's story and I could see myself reading parts of this, definitely not all of it because there's some sexy times in here, to my children. And then parts of it obviously are for adults. So that was kind of like, uh, it kind of went back and forth in my mind. Like, am I reading 
a children's story? Am I reading an adult story? Can this play as both? I didn't like how Sartan had to leave one of the situations. And I don't want to give like any spoilers away, but when he finds his freedom the first time, I was really upset how somebody is left behind. And I get that it's kind of like the real world and how things would work, but it was really disparaging and sad. It kind of broke my heart. I, was, I think Dean did a really good job of bringing us in and letting us feel Sartan's emotions and the sorrow and happiness, love, devotion, his anger and misgivings and how he feels about his pod and other pods, his leader versus other leaders, the whole winter meeting and the festivals and falling in love, meeting Samar, everything that has to go on. You really get to know this character. And through him, I think we really got to know the others. I am giving the Songs of the Sea by Dean Freck four stars. I thought it was a lovely story. Like I said, I really want to hear the music. I truly enjoyed the love story. I enjoyed the journey that Sartan had to go through, even if I thought some of it was a little extreme. So what I am going to do for you is I am going to leave the link to JMS Books and Amazon down below so you can click it and be on your way to a wonderful merman telling. If you've enjoyed this review, I'm gonna ask that you help me with that YouTube algorithm and give me a like. Leave me a comment. I love to interact with all of you guys and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm recovering from some personal things in my life and I'm slowly getting back on track but that is the magic of the subscribe button is that you will get a notification when I have something new for you. If you like me and think this chick's really awesome down below I'm going to leave stalker links aplenty so go click investigate enjoy. If you have a book or an arc you'd like me to read or some light editing proofreading you would like done you may request via website. Songs of the Sea by Dean Freck published by JMS Books four stars. Bye. Hi, my name is Christina and I am your librarian here at Christina's Bookshelf. Today I am bringing you the YA book, A Boy Worth Knowing by Jennifer Cosgrove, published by Nine Star Press. I found this book to be exceedingly brilliant. It was just exceptionally well put together. The writing was above par. Everything about this I thought hit the mark. So we have Nate Shaw. He's in high school, it's his senior year. He's fun.